Stage one ignition actually occurs at the liftoff time of 107 and five seconds. And after a series of uh, engine health checks, uh, when those are completed at uh, about the plus one and a half second mark, the vehicle would lift off. Fifty seconds and counting. T minus thirty seconds on my mark. Mark. Inside thirty seconds to launch again, and Terry's chief engineer, Mike Dorsch will uh, make most of the calls going uphill um, on the ascent uh, profile of Antares, uh, greatly anticipating the uh, delivery of Cygnus uh, to orbit and on its way to the International Space Station. Five, four, three, two, one. We have ignition. We have liftoff of the Antares vehicle for the Orb 1 mission while the flight facility delivering signals on its first commercial lease by service to the ISS. And Antares is on its way, delivering uh, Cygnus to orbit. After launch, all uh, continuing to go smoothly in the initial stages of uh, ascent for Antares. We passed through 3,000 feet in altitude. Avionics power systems remain uh, nominal. Uh, pressurization valve VNO3 has come on. Core pressures are nominal. A modest amount of steering as the vehicle passes through max Q and its maximum dynamic pressure. Altitude is 45,000 feet. TVC steering remains good. Pressurization valve VNG3 is on, where pressures remain nominal. Attitude is good. Velocity is 2,000 feet per second. Avionic systems remain healthy. Engine performance remains nominal. Two minutes into flight. TVC still tracking commands well. Attitude remains nominal. 100 seconds to main engine cutoff. Altitude 100,000 feet. Attitude remains nominal, coming up on uh, T plus two minutes and 30 seconds. Avionic systems remain good. TVC is tracking commands well. Uh, steering commands are very small at this point. Two and a half minutes into flight, uh, stage one throttle down will occur about three minutes, 24 seconds into the mission. Engine performance looks good. Coming up on T plus three minutes. At avionics power systems still look healthy. Three minutes into the flight. 100,000 feet altitude. Core pressurization valves of VNO 4, 5, and 6 are all on now. Core pressures remain nominal. Standing by for throttle down that will occur uh, at an altitude of 49 miles. It's now 10,000 feet per second. Traveling uh, 7,200 miles per hour. Less than, less than 30 seconds to Miko. Altitude 300,000 feet. 
Attitude remains nominal. We've skewed. Miko skew is complete. Standing by for main engine cutoff of stage one. Power nominal. And we have Miko. Attitude remains nominal. Miko occurring 66 miles in altitude, traveling 10,000 miles per hour. Stage one separation. And then, as you heard, stage one separation has occurred. And the uh, telemetry uh, tracking the spacecraft. A beautiful launch occurring on time at 1.07 p.m. Eastern time. Uh, stage one performance is 19,710 uh, delta v, feet per second of delta V. That's within 40 feet per second of the nominal prediction. Excellent stage one performance. Uh, Antares is now in the coast phase until the proper conditions for fairing separation and stage two ignition are achieved. And that fairing separation should occur uh, about 30 seconds from now, about five minutes, 20 seconds into the mission. Now at five minutes, MET and counting. It's determined that uh, uh, stage two ignition will be at uh, T plus uh, five minutes and 47 seconds. So under 40 seconds to stage two ignition, Attitude remains nominal. Standing by for fairing separation, followed uh, very quickly by interstage separation. Twenty seconds to stage two ignition. Power remains. Ten seconds to stage two ignition. Fairing separation. Interstage separation. TVC battery initiated. And six minutes into the flight, all continue to go smoothly. Stage two ignition has occurred. Stage, uh, stage Sorry, we have a stage two ignition. Uh, pressures look nominal in the early part of the uh, Castor 30 burn. This is the, uh, the first flight of the enhanced performance Castor 30B motor. Uh, it'll burn about 128 seconds. Uh, it's about uh, 12 seconds longer than the, the standard version of the motor that we flew on the first two missions. Attitude remains nominal. Altitude is 205 kilometers. T plus uh, seven minutes. Attitude remains nominal. Seven minutes into the flight now, all continuing to go smoothly since uh, liftoff at 1.07 p.m. Eastern. Stage two uh, burnout uh, should occur uh, about the, uh, a little more than eight minutes uh, into the flight. Castor 30 motor pressure is uh, continuing to uh, tail off as we approach the, uh, the burnout point. Attitude remains nominal. Altitude, and we have staged uh, Castor 30 tail off and state, stage two burnout. Attitude remains nominal. T plus eight minutes. FTS is disabled. And that occurring uh, with the vehicle traveling 16,700 miles per hour at an altitude of 155 statute miles. The attitude uh, control system uh, on the second stage. Uh, controlling the uh, vehicle's attitude in preparation for Cygnus separation, which should occur at about the 10 minute mark, uh, just about a minute and a half from now. Just a little over a minute. 
uh, there's two minute coast time between burnout and separation to uh, allow residual thrust from the motor to die out prior to spacecraft separation. The, uh, the vehicle state vector in the coast phase appears uh, to be very, uh, very close to the nominal performance prediction. Attitude remains nominal. Uh, approximately 30 seconds to payload separation. Approaching nine and a half minutes into the flight. Vehicle telemetry remains uh, very solid here in the uh, RCC. Pro approximately uh, 15 seconds to spacecraft separation. Approaching 10 minutes into the flight, we're standing by for separation of Cygnus uh, from the second stage or the upper stage. Uh, that will occur at an altitude of 154 statute miles at a speed of 16,700 miles per hour. And we have payload separation. Cygnus is in orbit and Antares has initiated the uh, collision contamination avoidance maneuver. A very uh, smooth ascent uh, right on time at 1.07 p.m. Ten minutes later, Cygnus has now separated uh, from the upper stage with its orbital insertion altitude of about 150 by 185 miles uh, with the station uh, much higher than Cygnus uh, over the course of the next two and a half days. The, um, Cygnus's orbit will be raised through a series of delta velocity or DV burns, rendezvous burns, uh, that will occur over the next couple of days to put it in uh, close proximity to that of the International Space Station for the capture phase using the station's uh, robotic arm by the Expedition 38 crew members. The next uh, major activity, obviously, is to uh, get confirmation of solar array deployment. To stay in the control, in the launch control center until 